Ryan Friedlinghouse is CEO of West Coast Customs. Famous for customizing cars on MTV's Pimp My Ride, TLC's Street Customs, and their new series, Inside West Coast Customs. Um, I mean, it really built off of just, as I put it, like hard work and not giving up. You know, I started 1993 with $5,000 that I did borrow from my, my grandfather. And I, you know, I built it where I started in Laguna Niguel, which was probably not the right spot, but it was really close to where I lived. So I was working in, in and out of the shop and actually helping my dad out with his liquor store. And then from there, I moved directly to Compton which was a big change, you know, it's a, it's a big demo change. But at the same time, it was where I felt more comfortable. I mean, people spent a lot of money on their cars in L.A. And once I did that move, I got set up, I met Shaquille O'Neal, which actually helped me boost the business up to where, you know, I moved up to Inglewood from there and then from Inglewood to L.A., you know, and having a customer like Shaquille that let me build 34 cars for him and, you know, spoke very highly about me to a lot of other people, which opened up a ton of doors. And then a producer came to me with the idea for Pin My Ride, and he asked me if I wanted to do it. We jumped in and said, yeah. We found out what it was, and it was a mess when we started. I mean, it was very little money and a whole lot of work, and, you know, it was fun. So we did it, and it turned into a huge show that was, like, their highest-rated show for three years straight. And then from there, we built a new show, Inside West Coast Customs. This show is more, because it's my production company and it's us doing it, it's more in-depth of what we really build. And I like to call it infotainment. And my biggest thing was I want to give back to my fans. You know, all the fans watch us, they turn off the TV, they try to be like us. How can we give that back to them? So we're doing a lot of information in this show. I hope in five years to have a school where I can train these kids, you know, how to do what we do. Because one of the biggest things is, is even though with the, with the economy, it's finding good people. So I really want to start a training school, a customization school, more like. And because they have the Wyotechs and UTIs and all those, and those are more basics. For the kids that want to learn like what we do, like custom fabrication and custom paint and custom upholstery and all the custom world, which is what a lot of these kids get out of school and want to do, I want to be able to teach them that, give them a West Coast Custom stamp of approval, give them an opportunity maybe to go work for one of my franchises because those, you know, those guys, they always need work. They want U.S. help for sure. Or have them give them a chance to work for me. That makes me feel good because I feel like, okay, all my hard work is paying off and it's actually getting to people that I respect, you know. It's cool to have the kids follow you and all the, you know, but when you get respect from the top builders out there that I've always looked up to from like Chip Foose and Shelby and, you know, all these different guys that have been around forever. It's like, I think I did something. I'm accomplishing something. <laughs> from Corona, I'm Charlotte Bray for the Press Enterprise and PE.com.